Hi guys, welcome to my Scottish Tooth channel. This is Robin and Daryl. We're getting ready to open up jewelry jar number 84. If you see anything in this jar that you want, leave a comment under the comment section of the video with a timestamp and a description of the item that you would like a price on. After that, send me an, uh, an email at myskywatch2 at gmail.com and provide me this information if you haven't already done so. I need your PayPal email. If you don't have one, that's okay. Uh, your shipping address, your YouTube name, your name if it's different from your YouTube name. Shipping is only in the U.S. and shipping is free. And so, with that said, we're going to open up jewelry jar number 84. Now, as we did in the last one, we've already opened it and um, untangled everything so we don't have to spend a lot of time going on and off. And y'all don't see all the background work that we do with a video. It takes us twice as long just to start out of the jar with it all tangled up. So anyway, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing I have here is a Tree of Life pendant. These are hematite and black beads and silver filigree beads. These are glass beads, beautiful basted. More hematite and black beads. Goes on and on and on. It comes to a toggle clasp. It has some wire issue going on right here but it's still together just needs to be tightened up or something i don't know but it's got a little heart on the toggle clasp beautiful necklace it's not magnetic i didn't test it so let me do a quick rub here and yes i see copper right away so it's copper based very beautiful necklace though. Pretty glass beads. The next one we have is a Hishi beaded bracelet, I mean necklace, very long one, in red colors. Very nicely done. Very long for a Hishi necklace. It is. 32 inches. Next item we have is this necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp, a Rolo chain in silver tone. Have you, you have these glass, uh, not glass, acrylic beads and silver beads. Beautiful green color. These right here are glass. And then you go back to the acrylic beads. Ooh, these are glass. I'm not sure. They look glass, but I don't think they are. No, they're not. So it's all acrylic beads and metal beads. Beautiful green color, though. Next one is, we have a duck necklace. Reminds me of Dooney and Burke. It's got something on the back. But I don't know what that says. I'm going to have to loop it. Gives me a real good close look. I definitely cannot make out what it says. Nope. It's marked, but I cannot make out what it says. And 
It's on a nice chain. This is a vintage chain. It's got a spring ring clasp. And it's in good shape. Okay. Next is a pearl necklace. These are glass pearls. They're very heavy. They need some cleaning. Their luster is not real good. It looks like it's got hairspray or something on it. Here it looks like we've got wear on the pearls. Right. Right here, especially you can see it. I'm going to put these in the hobby lot does have a lobster claw clasp that can be used also. One in the Hobby Lot. The next um, one is broken or not, not tied off or whatever. We'll put that in the Hobby Lot. This one here is a braided one. It's got a nice brass lobster claw extender with a bead. Pretty brass beads here. This one is a glass bead, a brass bead. And I think another glass bead here. And then you've got the braided smaller beads that are glass in a cream, copper, and bronze, um, brass look, like a mixed metal look. The next is a long gold bead and silver bead and little pearl, long necklace, no clasp. It's in good shape, except I do see wear here, so I'm gonna put that in the Hobby Lot. That wear. Here's a bolo tie. These are silver. It's got a um, turquoise. It's marked on the back. Bell sterling. It might be Bell Trading Post. I don't know. But it says Bell Sterling. This is leather. Very good condition. Nice bolo tie. Be sure you mark it, Sterling, honey. Mm -hmm. Here's another hammered ring. It's attached to this cord. It's got a lobster claw and an extender with the bead. It's in good shape. Needs a little cleaning. We have two necklaces here. I've got them put together, but I will separate them to show them. They're wire necklaces. Sorry about that. And I kind of put them together because I needed somewhere to hang them, but I kind of liked them together too. They kind of complement each other. They both have... Uh, like this has little rhinestones on it. They're green. This has the little clear rhinestones. The first one is just the pearl and rhinestones here. And what I've done is I've layered these two. The other one are acrylic beads and uh, glass beads. They are cat's eye with green, um, pretty little green rhinestones in there. And then put it together with this. You can layer these and it looks nice. It graduates in size like that. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. You can wear them separate too. Here you go, honey, here's one. And then here's the other. The other one has a lobster claw clasp. Extender with a bead. It's got the brassy chain on it. Beautiful green cat's eye and the clear 
the clear beads are acrylic, I believe. Yes, I believe so. Anyway, it's very pretty. And the next one I'm going to show, this is real coral. Of course, I got it tangled up already. Here we go. A real coral necklace. It looks pretty on the gray. Yeah, it does. I don't know if that's too short. I'm going to see if I could layer that, but I can't. Eh. No. Okay. I'll just show the coral by itself. Put that one down. Here's your coral necklace. This is real coral. It's on a silver tone chain with a barrel clasp. I haven't checked it for silver. Let's see what I got here. Let me put this down. Go back to this here. Here's your chain. And it has that tarnished look. Here's your coral. You can tell this is genuine coral. Now, let's see if this is magnetic. It's not. It might be silver. You want me to go for you? No, I want to struggle. Okay. <laughs> We're down to the itty bitty. Let's see if I can get it. Oh yeah, I got a drop. Oh, I took two. That was terrible. Now I got it too saturated. And yes, it is silver. You can see the red coming through. So that's a silver chain with their coral. Very pretty. Next one, we have the same kind of chain again, so I won't test it again. We have a hook clasp this time in the figure eight where it latches, and it's got the little birds. It's very cute. This one, I don't know if it's chipped off or not. It looks like it may be. But that's very pretty. We have an owl, mixed metal. You have your silver tone and your brass, black enamel eyes. There's the back. Nice little Rolo chain. Lobster claw with the extender. Very cute. Oh, goody. This one is lobster claw class, multiple Rolo chains on each side. Got four on this side, three on this side. Here is your necklace. It's multi layers. I think I need the big, big sky to show it. Going on here. Gotta get the kinks out. 
Mm. Yes. Oh well, there we go. It's very pretty. And there's your links. This one should be coming down. There we go. Here's the bottom. I'll raise this up so you can see it a little better. Nice pretty necklace. It's gold tone. It's in good shape. Trade. We have another one that probably could layer with that one. With gold balls. And it's very long. Here's the bottom gold ball. It's very tarnished. I don't know if that's going to clean up or not. I can do a little test here. I don't think so. Well, I need it off of here to do it. This is where I'm rubbing it. Right there. Right there. Let's see if I can get some more of that off. Here's the part where I rubbed, and it is rubbing off some, but I don't know. It would take a lot of work. We're going to put that in a bag, and we're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. It's got nice chains findings on it. Like I said, it may clean up. It's just I don't want to mess with it. I have so much. Yeah, we will. The next is nice chain, but it has no clasp. Gold tone. Oh, yeah, it does. Here's the clasp. It's the old time clasp, but it needs to be put back together here. So that's going in the hobby lot. The next is the little chain. It's got a spring ring clasp. I don't see any markings on it. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. Put it in a little bag. Here's okay. another necklace that has no clasp. It's got a little pearl on the end. It's got leather in here. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. This is a vintage necklace. It is marked. Something on here. Germany. It's yellow beads and cream colored beads. Very pretty. Little crystals here. These are vintage. And we're going to see the length of the necklace. Oh, sorry about that. It's 18 inches. These have an Aurora Borealis wash. Very pretty. You want me to put it on the mannequin? No. I'm okay. Just... Gonna put that one on. The yeah, I'm just getting it out of my hands. Okay. Here's another one that has a very rugged look. It's got a lot of uh, patina on it, on purpose. 
like copper would do. Copper would turn this pretty green. You've got brass colored. This is silver colored. Poppers color. You have these curved bars up here at the top. And then a dark chain. Here's your lobster claw clasp, your extender with the bead. Got a very nice look to it. It's got a very distressed look, but it's on purpose. That's a very different necklace. There you go, honey. Yep. The next has got a nice uh, spring ring clasp, and it's marked um, loft, the little stone, like that. Unfortunately, it's missing stones, and there were none in the jar to fix it. So this is going straight into the uh, hobby lot. Hobby lot. These are the colors. Make earrings, a lot of things with that. Next is a shell necklace with a little pearl in the center. On this disc here, it's very pretty the way they've made that to a flower. Nice gold chain, rollo chain, little spring ring clasp, has some wear on it. Very different. Here is another necklace with a cross. Here. It's got something inside the cross too, I'm not sure what. We put that in the hobby lot. Next necklace is just needs to be reattached to that. It's a little shell necklace. Pretty colors of shell. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. Here's a bracelet. I think these beads are acrylic. Nice beads though. It was a bracelet, it's come apart. There's your clasp there. You just need to put it back together. I'm gonna to put that in the hobby lot. is a chain necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. It's got a lot of design on the chain. Itself, it has a distressed look. I don't know if we have anything to go on this or not. It is very magnetic and we'll put that in the hobby lot. Next is a little Claire's necklace here. It's got a little lobster claw. It's in good shape. It has a brass look. It's got love, love, and then a little bird here. Little red beads. Very cute charms on that. Here's a cross, very pretty. Here's the back. It has something written on there, but I can't read it. Might 
in uh, Hebrew or something. Nice chain, spring ring class, no marks. Very pretty. Here's another cross. Little black stones. There's the back. It's in good shape. Pendant. We got pendants. Yeah, give me pendants. Let me put this in a bag. Okay. We have this little pendant here. Cat's eye heart. Nice weight to it. Very pretty green. Here's another cross pendant with gold and silver. Here's the back. Very well made. Have this little puffy heart that's silver. Needs a silver, uh, 925 silver. It needs a, um, silver chain for it. Here is one of those Italian bracelet pieces. It's come apart. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. I have this pendant. Isn't that cute? An ant eater. And it's marked. Jewelry for the maker. This is um, porcelain and a great glazing job on this with um, even gold trimming here. It's very good. Very nicely done. Here's another piece that is um, acrylic. And it's artisan. Trying to figure out what it is. It's got different hand signs in it. So I don't know. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. The next is a heart with the awareness. Cancer awareness. Very pretty. I don't see any marks on it. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not. Test the heart real quick. No, it's copper. It's copper based. But very pretty. Here's a heart made out of clay. Here's the back. No one hugs like mom can with little rhinestones, metal. Very nicely done. Here is, looks like an amarillo to me. Here's the back and this looks silver. Like a what? Amarillo? Armadillo? Armadillo. What did I say? Amarillo? <laughs> yeah. Armadillo. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's late. I didn't remember seeing Texas on that thing. Oh, yeah, that's definitely probably silver. Do I have any liquid left? Let's see. I don't know. Oh. Might be a pewter, huh? Yeah. It's not magnetic, unless I just didn't do it right. Well, it's a stainless. But it wouldn't have scrubbed like that then, stainless, would it? No, it wouldn't have come off. I, I see like brass underneath here. Gives it a shadowing effect, so maybe it's. 
silver over brass. That's, this is a pen, turtle, and it's marked. See, that looks like some initials there. And that looks like a number over there. I'm looking for sterling or something. Let's see if I can see anything with the loop. Yes, the sterling is very light. But it says the word sterling right across here. There you can see it. That's a nice little turtle pen. That's 925, honey. I'm not going to test it. Okay. Clean this off. Okay. And I've shown that. This is an awareness pin here. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. This one's Sue, and a lot of these were gold filled. I don't know about this one. It's not magnetic. Clean this off. Let me see if I can see any marks on this. These are vintage pens. This has got a C clasp on it. Test it. Oh, let's see. Let's see if it's ten karat gold or not. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And it is not disappearing, so it's at least 10 carat. Let's go for 14. <laughs> Next mixture is 14. Let's see if I not mix them together. Still there. It's very much still there. So, let me do a rub by itself just for the 14 to make sure. If I had to do it on the edge. again. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And y'all can't even see. What did it do? It didn't disappear. Okay. You can still see the line through it. Inquiring minds wanted to know. Yep. So 14 carat at least. Well, if you did one more scrub and tried 18, it'd probably let you know that too, wouldn't it? Yeah. Eighteen. Whoa, 
Oh yeah, it went away instantly. And now we know. So it's 14 carat. So that's good. Mm-hmm. So anybody named Sue? 14 carat. The next one is terrific. It is a spider pen with a piece of turquoise in it. Here's the back. I don't see any marks. I just think that one's adorable. Yes, this one's adorable. Well made. I don't know, should we test it? Easy on his legs. I am. I'm not putting any pressure. So I might do it for a few minutes here. Oh yeah, it sure is rubbing silver. Now let's see if we got enough to make any. Oh. Made it. Yep. It's hard to see though. Can't I see anything? Wait a minute, I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna do the eyeball or something. The head. Now, that looks like I got plenty. The question is, did I have plenty of fluid? Okay, we're going to do it on the underside. Oh, yeah, there you go. Here's the red. So it's definitely silver and adorable. Next is a piece of artwork under a acrylic tile. That's very pretty. That's artisan. Here's the back. It's very cool. This here is just price tag stuff that needs to come off. Very nice. Here's a big bell with no center to it. In great condition. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. You can make up your own. Here's a little tack pen. Here's another tack pen with a flag. Here's a tack pen. Now, th this one doesn't have its back. And the first one didn't have its back. Here's a tack pen. Historic Charleston Foundation. We have a lot of historic homes downtown and places around the city. Here's a World War II veterans pen. Here's a ta another spider tack pen with black jet rhinestones in there. Is that magnetic? Yes. That's very cute too. It's three-legged though. Could it be a tick? I don't know. It should have eight legs and only has three. Six. I mean six. Statue of Liberty pen. And a clip on, you know, with the spring ring class charm with M M T E or M F E, I don't know. And then we have all these little charms here. Well, this one's just a bell for a stone. This one's a little charm. And this one looks like a dentist chair. Well, it does. Like when you sit back and relax and he's got his little table over here. I don't know. What do y'all think? 
a barber chair, or airline chair. I don't know. <laughs> Look at it, honey. Well, unless you're in first class, is it going to recline that much? Well, I know. I'm thinking about those Amorite uh, things, or whatever they are. Here's some little charm uh, starfish and fishes and shells. I love this turquoise colored acrylic. So what'd you do with it? Put it in the bag. Okay. Okay, go ahead and put all those in the bag. Oh, I wanted to test it to see if it was silver. I forgot. I'm sorry, honey. Okay. I'm such a pain, I know. But you married me. It's your fault. <laughs> oh yeah, it's rubbing real silver. Yeah. I'm losing it to the last drop, honey. Oh yeah, see I got another drop. Very silver. So you gotta mark this nine two five. So, okay, y'all put in the comments what you think this is. I think it's some kind of chair. Yeah, it's probably a dentist chair. They crank you all the way back. Yeah, you crank you back and, yeah. And they put one hand in your mouth and the other their foot on your chin and spread <laughs> your mouth wide. You know, get leverage on you. Yeah, yeah. Not fun. My most dreaded place to go. Here's the underside, and this is the top side. It's an odd charm, I thought. Don't you think it's odd? Not if you're a dentist. Here is some metal bracelets. They're going in the Hobby Lot. Okay, we have these minimalist Bracelets with the multicolors. We'll put that in the hobby lot. We have this little bracelet here with the cross attached. Very pretty. Here's the back. We have this one. I don't know. Hobby lot. Beads are nice on it. Have this leather wrap one. It's in good condition. It's very much leather. You got three places to fasten it. We have this one in leather, a braided one. This one has uh, some bars here that says, I am strong, confident, passionate. It's a nice bracelet, but it's come undone. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Here's another minimalist bracelet with beads. People like to stack these, so I'm going to put these all together here. Here's this one with the turtles and the pearl and angel wings and the seahorse. And my favorite color of teal. Multi-stranded. See it. I know, honey. I'm trying to get it to where I can show it, okay? Never mind. He's just not going to... Uh, go away. Stop it. Yes, that's what you do to me. You make me crazy. Well, maybe I have it turned the wrong way. There we go. Very cute. Here's another little wire necklace. It's got nice beads on it. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. Here's some beaded. We've got turtles. We've got little kids beads with shells and the turtles are going to go in the hobby lot. This is hobby lot. We'll keep those, and we'll keep these. This has got a nice little charm on it. And a lobster claw clasp. Put those together. 
Hobby Lot. Hobby Lot, more metal beads. And then we have this heart toggle. Done the wrong way, of course. There you go. With all these little charms on them. I don't see, I don't think I see any marks. Looks like a little turtle, sea turtle. And then you have these beads. Those together. Oh, this was another one. This was a vintage necklace in there. But it's missing pearls and A, B, a, B pieces. It's like double pearls, two A, Bs, double pearls, two A, Bs. Very nice necklace. But like a vintage necklace, but it is. And I don't know what this symbol is. 